So it's uh, the end of 2012. We're in an interesting economic climate. And so I'm sure you have definite opinions about this. Um, can you share with us some things people should be thinking about right now, maybe at the end of 2012, but also preparing for 2013? Sure. Like I said before, I, I work with investments insurance and my partner does taxes. So it's actually Clark and Anderson Financial Services. Uh, I'm Craig Clark, so I do the finance side. He's Preston Anderson. There's the Clark and Anderson in it. He does the tax. And one of the reasons why we partnered is because going forward, a huge part of a, a saver or an investor's return is going to be eff effectively reducing their tax bill. Taxes are going to go up for almost all of us. So the first way to get you a good return, get your taxes as low as possible. Interest rates can't go lower. You don't, so we're shying away from any interest rate investment, whether that be government or corporate bonds, that are anything over six years. Over six years, we call it a long bond, not worth having right now because of interest rates. Expect interest rates to start rising and invest your interest rate investments accordingly. When it comes to the stock market, big is beautiful. The bigger and stronger the company, the more countries it's in, the more likely it is to maintain and increase its value and market share. And then also just understand that the world is becoming a little more, well, I don't know if it's becoming more unstable, but there are issues happening in the world and other countries, the Eurozone, are not as strong as they used to be. And so we can't just do blanket investments. We have to go from being a mile wide and an inch deep to actually focusing on areas that we think are either going to A, stay safe primarily, and then B, from there, have the potential to grow. There's no guaranteed growth anywhere in the world right now, but that have the potential. Now, what things are we looking at? Economic stability financial sanity, I guess is what you'd call it, and then just a willingness to be on the global market. Um, those things, I think, are going to help investors a lot, help savers, and essentially um, help you have a better 2013. Great. Thank you for the great advice. Thank you.